I got to get outside today. That's I for know. sure. Oh my <laughs> goodness, 80, 81. I think that's going like to feel it. really good. I Absolutely. Like it. Shorts weather. Well, this is Severe Weather Awareness Week. Speaking mm -hmm. of our forecast, and here at WCBI, we are talking, we are taking the time, that is, to focus on different types of severe weather. Yeah, this morning, meteorologist Amanda Reynolds is here to talk about the danger of flash floods and what you can do to stay safe. When severe weather strikes, we often talk about tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds. But one other serious threat is flash flooding. A flash flood can occur after heavy or prolonged rainfall occurs over a small area. Within a matter of minutes, a small creek or stream can turn into a raging river, washing away everything in its path. Flash flooding can occur suddenly. That's why if a flash flood warning is issued, you need to take action immediately. They also can happen anywhere, in low-lying areas or on city streets, and even in areas where it's never flooded before. In fact, flash flooding tends to be the deadliest severe weather event, killing over 100 people every year. When a flash flood warning is issued, there are three things you can do to stay safe. Immediately move to higher ground, especially if you are in a low-lying area. You should also avoid areas prone to flooding or that have already flooded. Finally, if you are in a vehicle, make sure to turn around, don't drown. Only six inches of fast-moving water is enough to pick up your vehicle and sweep it away. Keeping you informed so that you can stay ahead of the storm, I'm meteorologist Amanda Reynolds. WCBI Severe Weather Safety Tips are brought to you by Lee's Storm Shelters and Caldwell Banker West Realty Company.